Hope you're doing well. It is uh, middle of September. Uh, J.M. Wood here, Honey Hole Farms. Uh, it's been raining for the last several days and we're supposed to get three or four more days of rain off a of depression that came in off of uh, Louisiana. It's now spread a bunch of rain over towards Georgia. So I'm in Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, one thing I am going to do though, uh, I see goldenrod all around, but uh, with the weather like this, bees aren't able to get out and get to any of it. Hopefully we'll still have uh, several weeks of goldenrod and they can bring some in, but uh, one of the things I'm going to do is just make sure that a few of these hives still have some good feed on them, um, especially if the bees are trapped up in their hives. Uh, they really need something to uh, keep them busy and I want to put some of this feed on them, make sure that they're able to bring it down, store it, um, and, uh, and just uh, ensure that they're doing well during this time. Tough on bees when it's raining. They're going to be doing a lot of uh, work inside the hive and I'm going to give them a little extra something to do that gets them ready for winter. Okay, stay with me. Okay, well this first big hive, let's see if I can pop the top off here. Not a lot of bee activity out the front. I wouldn't expect there to be with all this rain. It has stopped for just a second. But I just want to make sure they got plenty of feed. Now I put some feed in here the other day. Got plenty in here. I'm not going to add to this. Um, Alright, these. I'm going to put this on. Move to the next hive. Just make sure they got plenty. This one hasn't taken it down as much as others, so they're okay. Okay, you got a little bit of activity with them coming in and out. Let's check and see how they're doing okay. up there. Now this one, sometimes the top can get stuck. Shake that one down. Pop this little cover off. I like to use these feeders. I haven't switched to migratory lids at this point. See all the bees up here. Feeding away, Look, looks actually pretty good. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more. Get that little piece of grass out of here. Give these girls just a little bit more feed. They should be good for a couple more days. Until that sun comes out. All right. Okay, now look at all these pretty bees on the front. I mean, they're really wanting to get out. This hive's packed full of bees. But you can tell this is kind of what they're doing. It's out raining on the lake. And uh, these two hives next door here, they, they're they really wanting to do something. So I'm trying to give them some feed, make sure they got things to do. Okay, let's pop this top. You know, if it was drier, one of the things that I would want to do I'm not going to do it until it dries up. I can get inside the hive, <clears throat> obviously, but um, I need to make sure. Look at this thing. Dry as a bone. All right, let me do this real quick. I'm going to bump this out. Those bees will come back up and they'll fly around. All right. Put that right back on here. Bump them down. They'll come right back in the front. And I'm gonna fill this thing up, man. This, this, is, this is exactly why I came out to do this. Let's give them something to work on. Big strong hive. Want to make sure they're really healthy going into winter. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Well, I got the lid back on this big one. Pull it down. As soon as it gets dry, I'm gonna possibly put just a little bit of pollen patty on them I shouldn't have to and I may not even do it but uh, you know the pollen from goldenrod and just other things in the fall is what really picks up brood production that's gonna create the bees that are with us all winter so uh, they're doing pretty good on it and I don't want to screw up and do the wrong thing but I may just put a very small pollen patty just to make sure that they've got plenty. All right, let's look at these bees. Look at that. All right, still got some feed. But I'm going to top them off here. You can see them in there working away. It looks good. I changed this feeder last time. Sometimes these feeders can get a little dirty. And I uh, definitely won't, don't want my bees sick. So I'm give them a little bit of sugar water. And that ought to keep them for couple days in the rain. Oh, that's looking good. Well, the bees are doing great. Uh, it's uh, it's raining out on the lake. Not too hard. It's not any thunder or lightning, anything like that. 
not usually what you want to do is get out here and beekeep in the rain but i've definitely learned that um hey beekeeping is one of those things where it's really not a hobby it's um you, you know hobby something you do on your time i think uh you know beekeeping something where you're 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 it's farming farming agriculture really and you're trying to make sure that you're doing what you need when the bees need it so um keep that in mind if you're thinking about bees if it's something you just want to do on your time every now and then probably not the thing for you but um, bees take a little bit of of attention and um, you got to try to make sure that you're just setting them up for success even when it's raining for three or four days in a row uh, they may not need anything but uh, why not give them something to help them out uh, over the next several days get them ready for winter hey if you like subscribe god bless you.